All right, guys, we've got another battle vid for you. This time it's between the brand new Apple AirPods Pro, the Amazon Echo Buds, and the Sony WF-1000 Mark III's. Let's get rolling. So the brand new Apple AirPods Pro retail for $249. They are the first ones you're looking at here. Comes with a brand new case and a totally new design, shorter tip, better fit in your ear. That, to me, is golden and changes the way this actually works and, and functions. If I shake my head well while using them, it doesn't fall off. It does come with multiple tips so I can actually get a better fit. And there's an app, oh, there's, sorry, not an app, but there's a process that allows uh, you to see how your, your ear tips actually fit best with which you know, ear size. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, connection to your device is pretty fast and simple. You open up your AirPods, boom, you're connected, good to go. Now, the case itself comes with 24-hour battery life. You have five hours with the, the AirPods themselves, the AirPods Pros, and you do have wireless charging built in, something the other two just don't have. So that is a plus for Apple with the AirPods Pro. Now, moving on to the Amazon Echo Buds. They come in an all-black case. Uh, this uh, has micro USB for charging, which is kind of a bummer here, although it's priced at $129. So put that in mind. Now, the, Air, uh, the uh, Echo Buds are all black in terms of look, but it comes with multiple uh, tips, uh, ear tips, and also has ear hooks. Now, for me, they fit comfortably and have probably the best fit out of all three. So when I'm shaking my head and moving around, this will work well, um, and that is also really nice to see. Now, this has touch controls, double tap uh, controls on either ear tips. Uh, what you do have though is you do have Alexa with voice and you also have uh, the ability to add in another assistant. So you can actually have dual assistants running and the, uh, the Echo app gives you so much functionality built into this thing. It's truly amazing, I do like it. You can customize your pass-through uh, levels, your sight tone levels. Uh, you can go ahead and change the functionality of the touch buttons themselves. Your EQs also, so get better music uh, audio there, which we'll talk about in a second. So you've got a lot of functionality in there. The case has a 15 hour battery life and you do have five hours with the Echo Buds themselves. And finally, we do have the Sony WF-1000 Mark III's retailing for $229. They come in a black and uh, copper case, also this kind of a copper and off-white case as well. Uh, the case is bulky, it looks really nice, but it's the biggest case out of all of them. USB Type-C charging does have NFC tap to pair as well, so that gives you easier connectivity. They all kind of connect pretty, pretty easy, actually, all the way. Now, in terms of the earbuds themselves, they are the biggest of all of them and they have also kind of the funniest shape, if you will, in terms of just the angle of fit. Although they do fit nicely and they do have multiple ear tips uh, and uh, different types of ear tips as well as comply from style ear tips, so uh, giving you enough kind of comfort for your use. The, the case gives you 24 hours of uh, use time. The uh, earbuds themselves give you six hours with ANC and uh, eight hours without ANC, so that is actually pretty cool there. Now, the application is probably one of the best out of all three. Uh, it does have the ability to give you adaptive sound, so basically understanding where your uh, noise cancellation is, it will actually figure it for you. You don't have to tap or hold or press. If you're staying at home, if you're on the train, it recognizes that, and to me, that is absolutely awesome. I think it also has probably the best active noise cancellation out of all three. I think uh, the Sony's are number one, the Echo Pods are close number two, and the Apple AirPods Pro are number three with ANC. Now, when it comes to sound, this is the biggest area here. And looking at all three, I think they do a good job. Apple has, I think, has seen the biggest jump here with the AirPods Pro sounding really good compared especially to the original AirPods. The AirPods Pro have a better sound signature um, and also uh, does a better job in giving you a better seal, so it sounds really nice. Your mids are solid, your lows are still a little bit muffled, though the lows have come down, as not as high, the lows are not as expressed as the older AirPods, and the highs are not as high as I would like, but a really good sound stage in total, so I'd say this is a really good effort here. Now the Echo Buds come in uh, at my number three here, 
because the sound stage still sounds a bit crowded. I think the active noise cancellation uh, affects this quite a bit. So it really blocks out a lot of noise, but also you can hear everything trapped in a bubble, if you will. So the EQs do help to customize the sound as much as possible. Uh, and uh, the lows are really good. If you listen to a lot of hip hop, this will work out well. They're not overpowering lows, but they really, uh, I would say maybe they're better tuned lows, if you will. Uh, the highs don't really reach out as much, uh, and the mids are kind of okay here. So uh, they're good, but not not as good as the Apple AirPod Pros. And finally, of course, the Sony um, WF-1000 Mark III's I think have the best sound overall. Uh, the, uh, the sound stage is really good, especially with active noise cancellation, you don't get that cramped up sound stage, you get something that sounds really robust and full. Uh, the highs and lows and mids do really well. The lows really come out so clean, especially if it's into hi-fi audio, it is golden. This is still the gold standard when it comes to listening to music here. Plus, they do have 360 RA audio, uh, reality audio, which basically gives you this immersive sound altogether. Now, the only problem with this is, of course, it's limited to a couple of applications like Tidal so far, so hopefully that expands, but it truly is a different listening experience when you try that out compared to just what you already get with this. So in terms of audio, this definitely does a good job here. So speaking of microphones, Microphones. That's another key thing here with, of course, earbuds, right? You want to know who has the best microphone here. I think all three do a good job with microphones, but if we want to rank them up, I think the Sony's coming at number three. They do sound really good, uh, but they also do have slight dips here and there in terms of just audio quality. Now, my number ones tied are, of course, the AirPod Pros and the Amazon Echo Buds. I use them in conversations with friends. I they couldn't notice a difference with any one of the two. I switched up calls. I think they both do a really good job with the microphones. Apple's really good. Amazon's really good as well off the bat. So I have to say when it comes to the microphone quality, you're gonna get really solid stuff from both of them right off the bat. Now, finally, you're asking, who is the best? What's the best here? What should I pick? Well, my number one is still the Sony WF-1000 Mark III's. It has the best audio out of all three. Listening to the Sony's is just a full step ahead over the Apple Airport Pros, over the Amazon Echo Buds. Uh, it also has a, a good mic, not the best mic, but a good mic. It has to meet still the best active noise cancellation here, and also the best application, which gives you so much more robust field nature. And you also have 360 RA audio, which is an extension of what you can do, a little bit more, a little extra there. My number two is the Apple AirPods Pro. They are nice, they are much improved. Uh, I would say if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you wanna get AirPods, don't get any of the other ones. They're terrible, just get these. Yes, they're 249, they're pricey. You do have wireless charging in there. You got that simplistic, sim simplistic connectivity uh, as well. And you also uh, have something uh, that I think will transfer with any of your Apple products quite effectively. Now, finally, the uh, Amazon Echo Buds. A nice start from Amazon. I think the sound stage needs some improvements, but really good microphones on there for conversation. Also some really solid audio and a really good app. Plus the Alexa integration, I found it quite wonderful to be able to use Alexa so seamlessly uh, through voice um, and also the ability to also switch up and use Google Assistant at the same time, I think is really awesome. And in that flexibility there, shows me a lot of promise from Amazon. So those are the three there and that's my ranking, but I do have one more for you. If you can't afford any of the three and you're going, okay, you know, 229 for the Sony's is too much for me, 249 for Apple is definitely too much for me, and 129 might be pushing past my budget. I do have a pair from you from Anchor. These are the Soundcore um, Liberty Air 2s. They're right here. They kind of look like the original AirPods, but with tips, they do fit better in your ear than the original AirPods and even the AirPods Pro 2. Now, some of the specs this thing has is really, really cool. It has wireless charging built in. Uh, it's got USB type C. Uh, it will give you uh, 10 minutes of charge, will give you two hours. It also has uh, seven hours playback time. Uh, then with the case, you've got 28 hours. So a lot of specs in there, plus the Soundcore app that gets to 
kind of test your, your ears to see how your hearing is to customize the sound. The sound is really good, especially at 79 bucks. This sounds almost as good as the AirPods Pro. Just saying. But my best, still the Sony. Number two, the AirPods Pro 2, uh, AirPods Pro. And uh, number three, uh, the Amazon Echo Buds. Have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you want to check out any of these headphones, I have the links for you guys down below. Thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.